one young lady who has been in the spotlight for quite some time here recently, Hannah Brown, is now adding author to her name. God bless this mess. She is putting a spotlight on different chapters of her life. And of course, we know Hannah on all of the ABC shows that you've been on. Of course, The Bachelor, Bachelorette, and also Dancing with the Stars. But thank you for being with us. It's good to see you again. How you doing? Thank you. It's so great to be here um, talking about this new uh, book that I've been able to work on the past two years. So really glad to be here and talking about it. Uh, I'm curious, did you ever think that you would have author on your resume? Was that something that you could see yourself doing or do you still have those pinch me moments like, man, I actually wrote a memoir? I mean, I definitely still think I have those pinch me moments, but actually I've always wanted to write a book of some kind. I've always enjoyed writing and reading has always been just like one of my favorite things to do. Uh, but never did I think I was going to write a book about my actual life. Um, so it's it's definitely surreal, but like I'm really proud that I was able to check off that that big bucket list thing for me um, because it's it's something that I've always dreamed about. So it's, it's really cool that we're finally here. Well, Hannah, you know, we got to know you, of course, on The Bachelor, and it just seemed like you had just such a light about yourself that, you know, you went from one of the contestants to then everyone was talking about you just because you were so open, open book, if you will. But you had that lovely personality. And then, of course, like I already mentioned, a light about you taking that on your journey, but then realizing underneath there were some darker chapters to your life. Has it been cathartic to talk about different family tragedies during some of those darker chapters that you talk about now? Definitely. Um, you know, I, I have had so many blessings in my life that I'm so thankful for in those moments of victories and celebration. But there's also been um, some, some times in my life that weren't you know, that, that were darker and, and things that I've really struggled with and um, some traumas that, you know, I didn't really talk about for a long time. But this past, the past two years, I've really taken the time to quiet, like quiet the distractions around me and, and really try to get down to what are some things that I need to heal from? What are some things that I've never processed? Um, and, and really get down to the root of, of who I am and who I want to be. And that feels really good because it's not like any secrets or things that I'm trying to hide. It's like, this is who I am. And I really hope that me being honest and vulnerable is going to allow uh, me to be able to connect with other people to feel seen and heard and know that it is all going to be okay. One of the things that I even struggle with are those, I should do this, I should do that. And you say that you spent many years in your 20s having those shouldas, if you would, or doing things for other people. How have you broken that? I really think that, um, you know, I focused a lot on my mental health, and I think it's so important for us all to do that. And, um, I think a lot of things start with the brain and um, what has really helped me is therapy and um, really trying to live a healthier lifestyle um, so that my brain chemistry, that um, I can really um, live my life clearer and more focused. Um, and that has really shifted a lot. And honestly, the past six months, especially, um, but in the past two years of just really, um, allowing myself to feel and to, um, let some of that suppressed emotion come out so that I can move forward and grow and realize that some of these shoulds and, um, you know, should have, could have, would have in my life. <laughs> I was thinking the same. <laughs> just like, no, like this was all part of the plan yeah. and I just need to live a healthy, fulfilled life that is not determined on what other people think, but how um, I choose to live and what makes me feel the best 
Hannah and that I can show up and serve other people. Well, I am glad we got to talk to you, Hannah. And of course, you can check out Hannah's book for yourself. Bless this mess. You say check out your social networking is the best place to go. Or of course, a lot of those big retailers. So thank you so much for being with us.